where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. The church rises or falls altogether depending on her view of God. I don't usually start a podcast with a quote from outside the Bible, but this one by A.W. Tozier made me search the scriptures. Tozier was very concerned about his generation back in the 1950s losing their high view of God. And I believe our generation is in even more danger of the same thing. I remembered that phrase, high view of God, from somewhere else, but I never really thought about what it meant. A low view of God puts him in our box. It makes us think he needs us, our money, our service, our resources to do his work. It boils him down to what we can understand. It makes us feel entitled, deserving of his love and blessings. We love to think of God's love, grace, and mercy, and forgiveness, but we're not quite as excited about talking about our sin, foolishness, weakness, insignificance, and utter unworthiness. The high view of God makes us realize our God is totally beyond our comprehension, outside of our realm of understanding. It explodes that box that we try to put him in and fills the universe and beyond. We are in complete awe of his power, strength, sovereignty, majesty, glory. He's completely deserving of our worship, love, and service. With a high view of God, we can see that he's always faithful and he works everything for our good. We can stand solidly on his purposes, on his promises, confident that he will do what he says he will do. He doesn't need us for anything, but because of his love for us, he allows us to be part of his kingdom and work for him. He could just say a word and things would be however he wants them. But instead, he uses us, sinful, fallible, undeserving humans. He wants us to be involved because he wants to teach us, train us, and prove that his promises are true, that he is the Most High, the Almighty, perfectly pure and holy. Having a high view of God helps us understand his love, mercy, and grace, and it puts us at awe simply because we are so undeserving. It automatically puts us in a spirit of humility. Meditating on who God really is, we can't come to him flippantly or think of his love and grace cheaply. We must come to him in fear and trembling. When Isaiah encountered God in his throne room in Isaiah 6, all he could think of was how sinful and unworthy he was. He was so overwhelmed with fear, he immediately said, Woe is me, for I am lost for I am a man of unclean lips. When Simon Peter first encountered Jesus and saw that he was in the presence of God, he too realized his sinfulness and fell at Jesus' feet and said, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. Having a high view of God means we see God for who he really is and us for who we really are. A low view of God makes us like Simon the Pharisee in Luke 7, who invited Jesus to dinner but looked down on him for associating with sinners and didn't even provide him water to wash his feet. But if we have a high view of God, we are the sinful woman washing Jesus' feet with her tears and wiping them with her hair. Which are you today? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.